At this the man's face fell. He went away sad because he had great wealth. He was guapped up. Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, How hard is it for the rich to enter the kingdom of God? The disciples were amazed at his words. But Jesus is said again, Children, how hard is it to enter the kingdom of God? It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. What is the kingdom of God? His will be done on earth as it is in heaven. How is his will being done on earth? How is his will being done in heaven? Perfectly. Okay. So when we do what's being up there, down here, we functioning in the, in the kingdom. So he said, it's hard for a rich man to enter the kingdom. Okay? And he's referring it back to, look, whenever he told dude, liquidate some of them, them assets, you know, get some liquid cash, give it to the Pope, then you'll have what? Treasure in heaven. Treasure in heaven. Yes. And treasure in heaven, what? What? Can't be taken. It can't be taken. But treasure on earth, what? Can't be taken. Yeah, somebody keep down your door. Boom. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Give me your money. So he's saying when we give, we receive what? Treasure. Treasure in heaven. But this dude equated giving to what? Loss. Lose. Loss. And it's the mentality of somebody, you know, if, if they their life it revolves around their money. And my money, and holding on to my stuff, and holding on to my stuff. Children, how hard is it for to enter the kingdom of God? It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. The disciples were even more amazed, saying to each other, Who then can be saved? Because I mean, I got bread, you got bread. I mean, you a tax collector, you a lawyer, I'm a doctor. Hold on. Can we be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, With man, what? It is impossible. With man is what? Impossible. But with God, what? All things are possible. Come on now. Then Peter spoke up. We didn't let everything to follow you. Truly I tell you, Jesus replied, No one who is at home or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children or fields for me and the gospel will fail to receive a hundred times as much in this present age. They said, if you done left all that for my sake in the gospel, you're going to receive a hundredfold now in this lifetime. He said, you're going to get all of it in this, in this present age. Homes, brothers, sisters, mothers, children, and fields, along with persecution. And in the age to come, eternal life. So he said, well, look, when you do this, for my sake in the gospel, when you let it go, when you let them folk go, when you take your trust out your money, and you start giving, when you take your trust out of your stuff, and you start being a blessing to other people, when you start sharing what you have, you show up at school with a bag full of your favorite shoes or shirt or whatever and be like, say, bro, I want to be a blessing to you, man. Boom! God said, you doing that on behalf of me in the gospel? You're going to receive back a hundred times more in this lifetime. Whatever that you left behind, for my sake, them people that you left behind that didn't mean you no good, the people that was sucking you dry, that you got a headache when you leave for their presence, because all they want to do is gossip. Because all they want to do is talk about foolishness. All they got to talk about is the ball game. That's all they got to talk about. The little boy you dealing with, <laughs> that don't mean you no good. The little chick that dealing with, if she truly care about you, she ain't gonna try to get to you. <laughs> Cause it's a possibility she can take away from your future. Because there's a possibility you get her pregnant. There's a possibility you could get something from her. And that's going to alter your future. If I can ask you, man, I got needs. All right. All right. There's a lot of people got needs. There's a lot of dudes that are baby daddies. And because they're not equipped, 
They didn't stick around. In the wind, because they had needs.